to further nurture the jagat of our Easter Pasayang Festival is to express our gratitude to our patron train for its abundant natural resources. Acknowledge the partners behind the rich and rugged people that add sweetness into this world. And lastly, foster the love for our culture and the arts. My city is also blessed with natural resources like sugar canes and even meat culture. But there are three things that I believe my city can really promote to Jaka Sabayis Tapasin to the people of Ernest. First, our stories. Second, our culture. And last, the people of Paris. That makes us different from others. Thank you. And this is your Jaka King, Charles Robertson, B. Hamilton. And this is your Jaka Queen, Giselle Marie Gileo Tavis.
representing contingent number one. Uh, here goes your question. I'm going to read it twice. What is that one quality or trait that a Hudyaka queen must possess to become an inspiration to all Pakistan? Again, I have to repeat the question for you. What is that one quality or trait that a Hudyaka queen must possess to become an inspiration to all Pakistan? Thank you for that wonderful question. Para na ko, ang Hudyaka queen is the one quality is to show everyone and witness everyone what the essence or what is the quality of the human for Christmas. That the Hujaka is the most powerful to everyone. We need to respect each one of us and we need to apply ourselves to become better. So that we be all in die. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is a question for the Rodiata Queen of Contingent number one. Again, I will be reading that question twice. How would you use your title as the Rodiata King to promote Ba'is City to the world? Again, how would you use your title as the Hudyaka King to promote Ba'is City to the world. Good evening. If I would be lucky to be to win this uh, competition, I will uh, promote this being a winner. Um, I will promote a to be a great, great um, um, to be a great inspiration. Okay, ito may nakatawag, so you must um, show or promote by the use of internet like Facebook, Instagram, and etc. That's all. Thank you.
Thank you so much for that question. Assuming you are a new to the place or a foreigner, I will take you to the lighthouse of Bayas. But that Bayan Sabalos is known for its people, culture, and history. If I were to take you to Bayas, on the light tower of Bayas, it was, you can see the 363 features of Bayas, both lands and seas. And by that you can see that Bayas is not only about talent, it is about culture and heritage. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Medijan number three. And now may I ask our team four, Medijan number four. Should I show to the bias? Is I am the image. 
how are you going to sell the most uh, how are you going to sell the the most what you call this the, the top tourist attraction in your place uh, to make by city a number one tourist destination thank you so much for that question uh, dear judge it's a bit ambitious if I would say if I want to make Ba'is at the top of our tourism, I will simply, proudly declare to everyone, especially in our place, that we are known for our friendly whales and dolphins. As we all know, Ba'is is called Ba'is item at the beach, right? And we are called for, with that because of something. And if I'm going to aim to really make our city known to everyone, I will surely use our medias and technology. As we all know, we're living in a modern technology world, and this is something that I could really advocate in keeping our, our city tourism up top. Spreading the news that our city is very lovely, this is something that I want to share. I would like to share, of course, why I choose to stay in Bahis. Ladies and friends, I was born and raised at Palyarmoso Negros Oriental and I came here at Bahis at around 2014 and I stay here because of the three things. First, life here is quite affordable from the food, from the transportation fair and also the amazing uh, places that we can offer. Second, of course, the warm welcoming atmosphere that I always felt that makes me feel at home. That is why I choose to be here. And this is something that I would like to share to the Philippines or even to the world to make our city on top of that tourism. That's all. Thank you. Once again, this is candidate number four. Representing Muscle Six. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good evening. Who do you have a king and queen? Good evening, Judge. Number five. I'm going to ask the question first to the king. All right, your question is, how... Okay, again. How would you promote Budiaka Sabahis as unifying activity for all Bahisanis? Again. How would you promote Budiaka Sabahis as a unifying activity for all Bahisanis? As we celebrate it today, the Rajama Festival Bahis, I would promote it but I would promote it by saying this is a good festival because we all know that um, Hujama Baez reunites us as we gathered here today. We, it reunites us as one and it gives us, it, it promotes our um, products which is called, uh, uh, which is made by the sugar cake. And I believe that with this festival, we should uh, emerge each other. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's have the, the female candidate, number five. Your question is, with technology controlling the lives of most young people, what advice can you give them so that instead of focusing internet-based interactions, they will go out of their way to meet and greet other young men and women? Again, with technology controlling the lives of most young people like you guys, what advice can you give to them so that instead of focusing on internet-based interactions, they will go out of the way and meet and greet other young men and women? Well, thank you for that wonderful question. Well, the thing that I could advise is that we should use technology properly instead of using it. They, they should, dapat 